Nasser Jahis were seeing this Salabat Jenks period. So we saw this Battle of Babili and Battle of Chandrati. Battle of Babili in the year 1757, Battle of Chandrati 1758. So after that, after these two battles, okay, Asaf Jahis, Asaf Jahis, we can see. Okay, in the period of this Salabat Jeng, Salabat Jeng, the period of this Salabat Jeng. Okay, relations between friendly relations between the French and Salabat Jeng, they were completely strained. At this moment only, Bussi was removed by this Salabat Jeng, and Bussi influenced this uh, Jamindar, Vijayanagaram Jamindar, Vijay Ramaraju to go against Bubi. Like that, we saw these two battles, Battle of Bubili and Battle of Chandrati. After that, what happened in the sense, in 1759, in 1759, in 1759, they went up to Machli Patnam. The British occupied Machli Patnam in 1759. In 1759, so there is Jamindar, so Ananda Gajapati Raju, Battle of Kunduru was declared. Kunduru, we can say. Okay, Pedapram Jamindar, Gajapati Raju. So he was, uh, Jagapati Raju was defeated. Okay, like that. So in 1759, in 1759, the British occupied, the British occupied Machli Patnam. Machli Patnam from the French. From the French. Okay, like that, that all happened. 1759, the British occupied Machli Patnam from the French. So then, at this moment only what happened, Battle of Kunduru that also took place in 1759. Battle of Kunduru, Pedapuram Jamindar and Ananda Gajapati Razu. Between Ananda Gajapati Razu and in 1759, between, in 1759, between Ananda Gajapati Raju. Ananda Gajapati Raju. Ananda Gajapati Raju versus. Okay, Ananda Gajapati Raju versus Paddapuram Jamindar. Paddapuram Jamindar. Jamindar Jagapati Raju. Jagapati Raju. Jagapati Raju. Okay. Battle of Kundur that took place. In 1759, Battle of Kunduru, we are calling. This battle is called Battle of Kunduru. 1759, Battle of Kunduru that took place. Battle of Kunduru took place. Battle of Kunduru. In this, Ananda Gajapati Razu got victory. Okay, Battle of Kunduru in which year 1759. 1759 only that took place. In this battle, Ananda Gajapati Raju got victory and occupied Pedapuram, Petapuram, Samarla Kota. Okay, they came under the control of Ananda Gajapati Raju. Pedapuram, Petapuram, Samarla Kota, they came under the control of this Ananda Gajapati Raju. So, this Ananda Gajapati Raju got victory. Ananda Gajapati Raju. Ananda Gajapati Raju got victory. Ananda Gajapati Razu got victory. So this Ananda Gajapati Razu, what happened? He got victory with that. So he got control over these three regions. Pedapuram, Pitapuram, Samarla Kota came under the control of Ananda Gajapati Razu. But in 1760, he lost life. Okay. Ananda Gajapati Razu. So got victory and, and got control over. Got control over. And got control over Pedapuram. This Paddapuram, okay, Pitapuram, Paddapuram, Pitapuram, Pitapuram, and Samarla Kota, and Samarla Kota, Samarla Kota. So, like that, all these important things they happen. Okay, then uh, they advanced, the British advanced up to Majli Patnam region. So, then what happened in the sense there is uh, Nizam Salaba Jeng, he thought. So, what to do? So, these French people, they were completely defeated and relations were also strained with these French. And in the Battle of Plassey also what happened? The British got victory against Bengal Nawab Siraj Uddhavla. 
and at the same time in this battle of in 1760 between the British and the French, between the British and the French battle of third battle Carnotic in connection with this. So battle of Wandiwash that took place in 1760. In that battle also the British only got victory. Chandurthi battle British got victory. Plassey British got. So that's why Salabat Jang thought that it is better to give this northern circus to the British by concluding agreement. Machali Patnam agreement we can conclude and better to hand over so this northern circus to the British like that who thought Salabat Jang he thought. Salabat Jang he thought that better to give this northern circus to the British because the British got victory in all these battles like that. Okay, in India what happened between the British and French in connection with Third Carnotic War? In connection with in connection with in connection with Third Carnotic Third Carnotic War in connection with Third Carnotic War in India in India in India Battle of in India, Battle of Wandi Wash. Battle of Wandi Wash took place. Battle of Wandi Wash took place. So, in the year 1716, which year? In 1760 only this took place. In 1760. So, Battle of Wandi Wash took place in 1760. Between the British versus the French. Between. Okay. It is between. The British versus the French only between the British between the British versus the French the French in this French were defeated the British got victory at this moment Salah Bajang what he thought in the sense better to hand over better to give northern circus to the British by taking some money like that he thought okay who thought so there is uh, Salabat Jang thought like that. Salabat Jang he thought like that. At this moment he was ready to give this Northern Sarkos to the British. Then he went to Machli Patnam in 1761. In 1760-61 what happened? He decided to give this Northern Sarkos. Hence he went to Machli Patnam to conclude Machli Patnam agreement with the British to hand over or to give Northern Sarkos to the British. Okay. So the Salabat Jang, Salabat Jang went to Machali Patnam. Salabat Jang, Salabat Jang went to Machali Patnam. Went to Machali Patnam. Salabat Jang went to Machali Patnam. Salabat Jang went to Machali Patnam. Okay. So to conclude Machali Patnam agreement with the British to conclude. To conclude Machli Patnam agreement. To conclude Machli Patnam agreement. To conclude Machli Patnam agreement with the British. With the with the British. Okay, to conclude Machli Patnam agreement with the British. So who went? Salabat Jang went to Machli Patnam in 1761. So, conclude Machli Patnam with the British. So, they went to Machli Patnam. Okay. So, in which year? In 1761 only this happened. In 1761. To conclude Machli Patnam agreement with the British. At this moment what happened? So, this uh, Nizam Ali Khan, brother of Salah Jang, Nizam Ali Khan, usurped to power. Nizam Ali Khan, what happened? Usurped. To power, all of a sudden came to power in Hyderabad, got control of all the things. At this moment, in Hyderabad, at this moment, at this moment, okay, in Hyderabad, in Hyderabad, Salabat Jang's brother, Nizam Ali Khan, Salabat Jang's brother, Salabat Jang's brother Nizam Ali Khan Nizam Ali Khan Nizam Ali Khan So usurped to power Usurped to 
power usurped to power okay so he usurped to power so here so he came to power like that it was said and this uh, so this nizam ali khan nizam ali khan came in the year nizam ali khan so this nizam ali khan got control over all the things nizam ali khan nizam ali khan got control over all the things got control over got control over all the things okay got control over all the uh, things all the things and said to got control over all the things so and said to his soldiers that whenever this salabat jang comes back he should be imprisoned so like that salabat jang after concluding machli patnam agreement came to hyderabad but immediately he was imprisoned okay like that so that all happened in the period of this one so nizam ali khan got control over all things and said to soldiers and said to soldiers said to soldiers to arrest and imprison salabat jang to arrest and imprison to arrest and imprison salabat jang salabat jang okay then salabat jang came back at last he was imprisoned hence salabat jang was imprisoned so nizam ali khan came to power salabat jang was imprisoned and nizam and ali khan at last what happened salabat jang was salabat jang was imprisoned he was imprisoned and who came to power and nizam ali khan came to power and nizam ali khan nizam ali khan came to power nizam ali khan came to power so then what's the period of this nizam ali khan this nizam ali khan he came to power nizam ali khan period if you see so this nizam ali khan came in the year this nizam ali khan so this nizam ali khan came in the year 1761 continued till 1803 in the period of this nizam ali khan many important things happened like that we can say so many things happened in the period of this nizam ali khan immediately his brother salabat jang was imprisoned and came to power all powers came under the control of this man so but after coming to power he said that which over the agreement concluded with salabat jang is not valid he said that the agreement which was concluded so with this british the british concluded agreement with salabat jang the agreement that was not valid because now i am the ruler i don't want to give northern sarkas to the british like that he rejected to give northern sarkas to the british so he rejected to give he rejected to give he rejected to give northern sarkas to the northern sarkars he rejected to give northern sarkars to the british to the british and said that machli patnam agreement is not valid and said that and said that machli patnam agreement is not valid machli patnam agreement chelladani perkunnadu evardo cheskona oppandam adi the british entered into this agreement with salabat jang now salabat jang was in prison he was in jail so that's why there is nizam ali khan said that machli patnam agreement is not valid and said that machli patnam agreement is not valid machli patnam agreement machli patnam agreement is not valid he is not valid then british were in dilemma by taking so much of risk we declared battle of chandrathi and got victory at the same time so got to control over machli patnam by taking so much of risk but now this nizam ali khan is not willing to give northern sarkas to the british what to do like that they thought in machli patnam one british officer lived was existed was john fibers immediately john fibers to get permission from this nizam ali khan elagaina vartaka vyaparalu cheyali 
నార్త్ ఇండియన్ సర్కాస్లో నార్త్ ఇండియన్ సర్కాస్ మన అధీనంలోకి తెచ్చుకోవాలని అనుకున్నవాడు జాన్ ఫైబస్ ఈ జాన్ ఫైబస్ హీ సైంట్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద మీడియేటర్స్ టు ద కోర్ట్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ నిజాం అలీ ఖాన్ నిజాం అలీ ఖాన్ ఆస్థాని పంపినట్లుగా తెలుస్తుంది అని చెప్పేసి అన్నాం దిస్ నిజాం అలీ ఖాన్స్ పీరియడ్ మరి సో దార్టెడ్ అని చెప్పేసి అన్నాం నిజాం అలీ ఖాన్ గుర్తుందా సో దిస్ నిజాం అలీ ఖాన్ కేమ్ టు పవర్ విత్ ద టైటిల్ అసఫ్ జాట్ టూ నిజాం అలీ ఖాన్ మరి ఏ టైటిల్తో వచ్చాడు అసఫ్ జాట్ టూ అనే టైటిల్తో వచ్చినట్లుగా తెలుస్తుంది అని చెప్పేసి అన్నాం సో దిస్ నిజాం అలీ ఖాన్ వాస్ కాల్డ్ అసఫ్ జాట్ టూ అని అంటున్నాం హీ వాస్ కాల్డ్ అసఫ్ జా ఆసఫ్ జాట్ టూ అనే టైటిల్ మీద రావడం జరిగింది ఈ నిజాం అలీ ఖాన్ గుర్తుందా సో హీ రిజెక్టెడ్ గో నార్త్ ఇండ్ సర్కాస్ టు ద బ్రిటిష్ మచిలీపట్నం అగ్రిమెంట్ చల్లదు అని అన్నాడు దెన్ బ్రిటిష్ ఆఫీసర్ జాన్ ఫైబస్ బ్రిటిష్ ఆఫీసర్ బ్రిటిష్ ఆఫీసర్ హూ లివ్డ్ ఇన్ మచిలీపట్నం హూ లివ్డ్ ఇన్ మచిలీపట్నం హూ లివ్డ్ ఇన్ మచిలీపట్నం ఓకే సెంట్ వన్ మీడియేటర్ టు ద కోర్ట్ ఆఫ్ నిజాం అలీ ఖాన్ సెంట్ ఓకే సెంట్ కాండ్రేగుల జోగి పంతులు కాండ్రేగుల జోగి పంతులు కాండ్రేగుల జోగి పంతులు కాండ్రేగుల జోగి పంతులు టు ద కోర్ట్ ఆఫ్ కాండ్రేగుల జోగి పంతులు వాసెన్ టు ద కోర్ట్ ఆఫ్ సో దేశ నిజాం అలీ ఖాన్ కాండ్రేగుల జోగి పంతులు టు ద కోర్ట్ ఆఫ్ టు ద కోర్ట్ ఆఫ్ నిజాం అలీ ఖాన్ నిజాం అలీ ఖాన్ ఈ నిజాం అలీ ఖాన్ యొక్క ఆస్థాని పంపినట్లుగా తెలుస్తుంది నిజాం అలీ ఖాన్ను కలిసిన వాడు కాండ్రేగుల జోగి పంతులు హీ వాజ్ దుబాషి కాండ్రేగుల జోగి పంతులు హీ వాజ్ దుబాషి దుబాషి నిక ఇస్ ట్రాన్స్లేట్ అవు సో దేస్ కాండ్రేగుల జోగి పంతులు హీ వాజ్ గుడ్ యాట్ సో హిందీ లాంగ్వేజ్ ఉర్దూ లాంగ్వేజ్ ఇంగ్లీష్ తెలుగు ఆల్ దీస్ లాంగ్వేజెస్ దే ఆర్ వెల్ నోన్ టు దిస్ మ్యాన్ హెన్స్ వాట్ ఆఫ్ అండ్ కాండ్రేగుల జోగి పంతులు హీ మెట్ దిస్ నిజాం హీ మెట్ దిస్ నిజాం నిజాంతో మాట్లాడడం అనేది జరిగింది వచ్చి సో నిజాం మరి మీరు వాట్ దిస్ జాన్ ఫైబర్ సైడ్ ఈస్ ఇఫ్ ఆల్ దీస్ నార్త్ ఇండ్ సర్కాస్ అప్ టు నెల్లూరు రీజియన్ ఇఫ్ దే ఇఫ్ దిస్ నిజాం సబ్మిట్ దెమ్ టు ఆర్ గివ్ దెమ్ టు దిస్ బ్రిటిష్ వీ ఆర్ రెడీ టు పే ఫిఫ్టీన్ ల్యాక్ రూపీస్ పేష్ క్రష్ పదిహేను లక్షల పేషకస్ కడదామని చెప్పమని చెప్పి పంపించాడు ఎవరిని కాండ్రేగుల జోగి పంతులు ద సేమ్ థింగ్ దట్ వాజ్ సెట్ టు దిస్ నిజాం అలీ ఖాన్ బై కాండ్రేగుల జోగి పంతులు ఇఫ్ యూ గివ్ ఆల్ నార్త్ అండ్ సర్కాస్ టు సౌత్ ఆల్సో ఓకే శ్రీకాకుళం టు నెల్లూర్ ఇఫ్ యూ గివ్ దెమ్ టు ద బ్రిటిష్ ద బ్రిటిష్ దట్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు పే దే ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు పే ఫిఫ్టీన్ ల్యాక్ రూపీస్ పేషకస్ పేషకస్ మీన్స్ జస్ట్ లైక్ టాక్స్ సో ఓకే పదిహేను లక్షల రూపాయల సంవత్సరాన్ని చెల్లిస్తారని చెప్పి అలా చెప్పడం అనేది జరిగింది సో హీ విజిటెడ్ ద కోర్ట్ ఆఫ్ కాండ్రేగుల జోగి పంతులు కేమ్ టు ద కోర్ట్ ఓకే కేమ్ టు ద కోర్ట్ ఆఫ్ నిజాం అలీ ఖాన్ దాట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు రిమెంబర్ హూ వాజ్ ద మీడియేటర్ హూ కేమ్ టు ద కోర్ట్ ఆఫ్ నిజాం అలీ ఖాన్ కాండ్రేగుల జోగి పంతులు దిస్ కాండ్రేగుల జోగి పంతులు కాండ్రేగుల జోగి పంతులు దిస్ కాండ్రేగుల జోగి పంతులు కేమ్ టు ద కోర్ట్ ఆఫ్ నిజాం అలీ ఖాన్ కేమ్ టు ద కేమ్ టు ద కోర్ట్ ఆఫ్ కేమ్ టు ద కోర్ట్ ఆఫ్ నిజాం అలీ ఖాన్ నిజాం అలీ ఖాన్ అండ్ సెట్ ద సేమ్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ద బ్రిటిష్ సైడ్ ఇఫ్ యూ గివ్ నార్త్ అండ్ సర్కాస్ దే ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు పే ఫిఫ్టీన్ ల్యాక్ రూపీస్ పదిహేను లక్షల రూపాయలు ఇస్తారని చెప్పడం అనేది జరిగింది so the british uh, they are going to pay how much 15 lakh rupees per annum per year istar ani cheppes annam so the british accepted to pay like that kandragal jogi pandulu came to the court of nizam ali khan and said each and everything and said about uh, so the agreement said about and said about the agreement said about the agreement what is the agreement if northern circus are given to the british completely they are going to pay 15 lakh rupees pesh kash okay so if nizam gives if nizam ali khan gives if nizam ali khan gives northern sarkas gives andhra region andhra region to the british andhra region to the british 
Okay, to the British. They would pay how much? They would pay 15 lakh rupees. They would pay. They would pay 15 lakh rupees. 15 lakh rupees. Like that it was said. Okay, 15 lakh rupees. Like that it was said. The amount which was paid to this Salah Bajja, this Nizam Ali Khan that was called. Okay, the taxes collected and in return paid to this Nizam that was called Peshkash. So that is called what? That amount was called Peshkash. Peshkash indicates taxes collected in return paid to the Nizam. That is called Peshkash. 15 lakh rupees Peshkash like that it was said. Got idea? So like this all these uh, things. But Nizam Ali Khan rejected to pay this. Rejected to give Nathan Sarkas to the British. Suppose if I collect uh, taxes particularly in Andhra region going to get nearly 25 lakh rupees. What is the need to give this uh, for 15 lakh? No, I am not willing like that. He rejected to give Northern Sarkas in the beginning. Then this Kondragula Zogipantalu, he said that, Nizam, anyhow, I came once again and I will meet you in the evening hours. So like that he left. So then in the evening when he came, when this Kondragula Zogipantalu came, the spies brought information to Nizam that in Machli Patnam localites, native people started revolt against Nizam. Native people started revolt against Nizam in Masri Patnam. So suppose if it continues, everywhere people will start internal revolts against Nizam. So that's the thing which happened like that. So the spies, they brought information. Then immediately Nizam. Nizam, what happened? Now only I came to power already. So internal revolts were started. Anyhow, I have to suppress these revolts. Otherwise, everywhere revolt will commence and they will bring problem. Problems, uh, there is uh, so a uh, dynasty at the same time, kingdom like that. So this Nizam Ali Khan, he thought. At this moment, what happened? Nizam Ali Khan decided to suppress the revolt which was started there in Machli Patnam. He decided to suppress. Okay, Nizam Ali Khan. Nizam Ali Khan. Heard that. Heard that. An internal revolt was started there at Machri Patnam. An internal revolt. An internal revolt. Revolt was started. An internal revolt was started at Machri Patnam against Nizam. Machri Patnam. Machri Patnam against, against Nizam. And then immediately this Nizam Ali Khan asked his people, so mainly not people, soldiers to get ready, we had to move to Masli Patnam to suppress the revolt in Masli Patnam. Otherwise, as the spies said, <coughs> everywhere revolts will be commenced. Then we have to face problems. That's why better we have to move to Nathan Sarkas, he said. So like that, that all happened. So then all the soldiers got ready. At this moment only, contrary to Zogi Pandura once again, he went and met Nizam Ali Khan. Then Nizam Ali Khan. So Mr. Kondragula, you are also coming to Machri Patnam. We are also going to Machri Patnam because there is an internal revolt that was started in Machri Patnam. Because you are also coming. You also accompany us like that. Throughout night, they travelled and travelled. Right? So like that, so they used to suppress Machri Patnam agreement. All the soldiers moved to Machri Patnam region to suppress the revolt. To suppress the revolt, all the soldiers, all the soldiers moved to Machri Patnam region. Okay, moved to Machri Patnam region. Started and uh, travelled and travelled. At last, early in the morning, they reached Gwalapudi near Vijayawada. So, the to suppress the revolt, uh, okay, to suppress the revolt, all the soldiers, all the soldiers started started in the morning they reached in the morning even this contract was also with them in the morning they reached Gwalapudi they reached Gwalapudi near Vizavada they reached Gwalapudi near Vizavada near Vizavada Okay, Gullapudi near Vizavada, like that it was said. 
so then so nizam got a good respect and uh, at the same time who oh, nizam came like that they honored and uh, so they said that we are going to provide all facilities to you people soldiers and you like that they said and uh, so this nizam also accepted for that like that all these important things went on but there at gallapudi so he said that all the night throughout the night you traveled and traveled a little bit i am tired that's why i want to take rest for some time again we can make a move like that he said after taking rest when he woke up and asked the soldiers soldiers said that no we are not ready soldiers said that we are not going to come with you nizam we are not going to come with you like that so then nizam shouted against them and they said that even if you cry shout whatever the things we are soldiers there no fear that's why so better so better you listen your brother did not pay salary for 2 years and you came he also did not promise anything so that's why you have to fix up the date when is uh, when you are going to pay the salaries like that if it is decided then only we come like then contractor jogipantra also spoke to these people but they did not accept <coughs> they did not accept and at last contractor jogipantra said to nizam that said to nizam that so they especially northern sarkar should be given to northern sarkar should be given to the british if you give northern sarkar no need of any troubles and turbulences simply you are going to get big amounts every year you are going to get big amounts like that so they said to this one at this moment only at gallapudi okay so at gallapudi so they reached gallapudi okay gallapudi we can say so you can say there is a gallapudi now the place is now the place is gallapudi okay gallapudi near vijayawada got idea so like that so then there at gallapudi only nizam accepted to give this northern sarkas to the british so like that northern sarkas what happened northern sarkas went under the control according to rajamandri agreement okay so this nizam handed over this nizam nizam gave nizam gave northern sarkars to the northern sarkars northern sarkars to the british northern sarkars to the to the british okay first he gave srikakulam vijayanagaram vishakha regions only east and west godavari regions so and according to rajamandri agreement in 1766 so all these are given guntur was handed over to his brother guntur was under the control of guntur was given to his brother salabat jang that's why guntur was not given to the british immediately okay so then by concluding by concluding by concluding rajamandri agreement rajamandri agreement rajamandri agreement in 1766 in 1766 nizam handed over nizam handed over northern sarkas handed over northern sarkars to the northern sarkars to the british sarkars to the british mainly what happened guntur was given to his brother for his expenses so guntur was given in the year 1788 1782 only his brother salabat jang was dead so by concluding rajamandri agreement in 1766 this is important so according to which agreement northern sarkars were given by the british are uh, given to the british by this salabat jang uh, nizam ali khan like that question may be asked so that's why i had to remember that so by concluding rajamandri agreement in 1766 only that was given 1766 that you have to remember okay so but the british accepted to pay only 9 lakh the british the british accepted to pay accepted to pay 9 lakh only 
9 lakh because if all the reasons up to Nellore 15 lakh if all the reasons up to Nellore so they were given to the British in the sense 15 lakh now only 9 lakh rupees the British accepted to pay 9 lakh to the British 9 lakh to the to this Nizam Ali Khan the British accepted to pay 9 lakh rupees to so to the Nizam Ali Khan to the Nizam to the Nizam, Nizam Ali Khan, to the Nizam, Nizam Ali Khan, that's one of the important points. So then, Guntur was given to his brother, Guntur and Prakasham. Guntur and Prakasham united together only. Guntur and Prakasham were, were given to, okay, Guntur and Prakasham were given to the British, given to the British. British after the death of his brother Salabad Jung only given to the British in 1788 1788 only so that was given like that it was said Guntur and Prakasham because Salabad Jung lost life in the year Salabad Jung Salabad Jung lost life lost life in lost life in so Salabad Jung, he was dead like that, it was said. Salabad Jung, he was dead in the year 1782. 1782, after the death only, in 1788 only, Guntur and Prakasham united together. So they were given to the so British like that, it was said. Okay, Salabad Jung, lost life in 1782, you know well. So like that, so that all happened. Nellur was given to the, Nellur was given to the British, Nellur was given to the Nellur was given to the British Nellur was given to the British in 1802 in which year in the year 1802 only so that was given like that complete Andhra region went under the control of the British then we have to see how this royalism went under the control of this uh, British that we can see. Okay, thank you.